Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. We're going to discontinue from our heritage. That's what So, what will be our heritage? There's no social heritage. No respondent, no way. There's no social heritage. What's our heritage? You tell him to not respond, but what's our heritage? Como no entiende? Que nosotros identidad? What is que es nosotros identidad? Que es portugués. Portugués. Okay. Que somos hoy en día? All right, take this fly real fast, all right? Because what we're saying is that us so-called Hispanic people, we're Israelites according to the Bible. Don't forget that. God's chosen people, right? Then say each other, damn, uh, take away the word. See that? Talking about in Spanish, don't respond. Wow. Me, don't respond. Wow. Let him be a man. Right. right, right. So bring that back out. Yeah, you read that. Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Right? You know. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right, you and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Do what? To serve thine enemies. No, to be Peruvian. To, to serve, serve thine enemies. God said that we're going to serve our enemies, right? The Peruvians are going to be serving the so-called white men. Right. The Spaniards, the Spanish people, right? right? The Portuguese, right? The Dutch, right. all these different Europeans that we're going to be serving throughout history. And to this very day, That's right. in the back creeping, right. we're still serving them. Right. Right. still missed among us. Right. What are they doing in this lie with right. our people? Right. right, read on. And the land which thou knowest not. We don't know this land, right? This is not our homeland, right? This is not the land which uh, God chose his people is. This is not our homeland. Right. Who's that our homeland, right? right. Uh, uh, Bolivia, South America, none of these places are our homeland. Right. Right. Israel is our homeland. That's right. right. Fire, all these different things. Right, read on. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. What did they do now here? For, For ye have kindled, kindled a fire in mine anger. anger. Read that again. For, For ye have, have kindled, kindled a fire in mine anger. anger. You're kindling a fire, right? You're kindling a most high's anger, right? That's why you still don't know who the hell you are. That's why you're still mixing yourself with the so-called white man who can't stand up for himself but right. laugh in the back. Right. Right? That's who we are. Right. Read. We shall burn forever. We shall what? We shall burn forever. I guess. Uh, white people, right. that Chinese people, right. right? Gotta come back to our own people, right? right? right. As Israelites, God's chosen people, That's right? Right, bring, uh, bring that up, right? So, the word Peruvian, right? They love to uh, idolize the word Peru, they love to idolize the word uh, Hispanic, right? Bring that out in the uh, Peru, oh, right? What the word means, Bubba like Kishaw. So, when you look at that word, just like when somebody say, uh, I'm Hispanic, I'm Latino, I'm Latin X, right? We're gonna look at what that word Peruvian means. So the definition of Peru, right? What Peru means, right? right. Peru. The definition of Peru means river. It means what? River. It means river. It means river. That's right. So, so how the hell are you a river? When you're a person, what are you gonna say? I'm a river. It's madness. Madness. That's complete and utter madness, madness. given to us by the so-called white man, right. who's just right. loving the destruction of his people. Just sitting in the background. Look at these people. Look at these bits. Look at these buttbacks. Right. Right. So damn river. Right, laughing in the background. Right. right. right? And so we're not We're all chosen people. Right. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Shall what? Shall discontinue from thy heritage. Right. We're going to discontinue from our own heritage. That's why we're still with the so called white man. That's why we're still seeing a shit that we were literally captives on. Right. right? We had our slave masters on that shit. Right, you're on that shit, right. whipping you, putting you into slavery, right? Putting you into captivity, right? That I gave thee. That what? That, that I, I gave, gave thee. The most high God gave, right? Not the white man, right. not America, not South America, right. not none of these things. That God, the most high God, Yahweh, whose his real name is, gave me. Right, read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. To do what? To, to serve, serve thine enemies. enemies. What? To serve thine enemies. To serve thine enemies. Right. Right. In the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, 
which shall burn forever. Right, and we're still discontinued, right? So bring that back out in uh, Hosea. Go on. Chapter Go on. 4. It's the book of Hosea. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Read out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read that again. My, My people, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. knowledge. No, we're Peruvians. My right. people are destroyed for lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Right, and, and you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? You still don't want to come back to the most high. Back then you want to idolize. To this very day, Lord the Kingdom still wants to worship idols. Right. A ship. Your damn idol, right. the so-called white man, your idol. Right. Why are you still to this very day? What you got this continue for? You're still <laughs> doing in arson. You're still doing in the land of your captivity right. to this very day. Right? In that same spirit from England, that same Lord in the spirit of just idolizing everything. Right. Anything the so-called white man does, right? Worshiping this man, right? right? We're not dealing with the so-called white man as God. Right? Right? Read. Come on, you started three. Come on. Hosea chapter 11 and verse number 3. Read out. I taught Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms, but they knew not that I healed them. Read that again from the top. Come on. I taught Ephraim also to go. No, the, the, uh, the so-called white man taught us. I taught Ephraim, Ephraim also to go. go. He said God taught Ephraim, right? And our people got to come back to our own nation. It's separate from the white man. Right. Right? Read that again. Come on. I taught Ephraim also to go. He said God taught Ephraim, right? God taught Northern Kings, right? But th to this very day, you being taught by the so-called white man, right? You want to call yourself after what he called you, right? You want to worship a damn shit? Hey, brother, I see you looking, brother. You got 30 seconds? So real fast, what we're saying is, uh, let me ask you this question. What's your nationality? You say you're Dominican, right? Do you believe in the Bible? Um, like what way? You just believe in the Bible. As a book, like as a, I believe in like a philosophy. In the philosophy, in your own mind. So let me show you this, right? In the Bible, right? We think that the Bible is just a, uh, a book, right? That's out there, right? And it's just some type of book that God said He wrote, right? Or some type of philosophy. But in the Bible, you read. Give me a uh, Sirach 17 verse 11, right? In the Bible, uh, you read laws, statutes, commandments, and you read about the nation and people that God chose. Word. Right, so you said Dominican. I believe that's like, uh, uh, what is the word Dominican? Uh, dog, dog, of God. dog of God. Are you a dog, brother? Nah. You're not a dog. Right. right? So how are you going to call yourself Dominican? Who gave us that word Dominican? Well, here's the thing, bro. Is if, if I could, the language I would learn is the language of the indigenous people of the island. They got slaughtered. They don't exist anymore. So right. I don't have a choice. Right. Besides, I mean, we're, you and I are communicating in what language? English. You know what I mean? And if I wasn't communicating with you, I was speaking with my mom, it would be in Spanish. Right. See that? To colonize the language. Right. See that? The crazy thing is, like, what choice do I have? Though? I mean, me and you, we could go and I could try to build the indigenous language again, but, like, we'd be starting to do nothing. Right. You know what I mean? So let me tell you this, right? Like, my family, <coughs> they're so called Bolivian, right? Uh -huh. So we would be speaking, like you said, English and Spanish, yeah. which is the colonizer's language. Now, when we look at that, you said we don't have, you would be speaking the indigenous language of the Dominicans. What language would that be? You don't know. So when you look at history, right? That language that Dominicans and the Taino Indians were speaking, that were uh, of that land, they had Hebrew characters in their writings, right? right, right. right? They had Hebrew uh, um, dialects yeah. in their uh, language. Time out, bro. They, they, they didn't have a written language. They didn't write anything down. So the point of the matter, brother, is that they had Hebrew uh, um, customs. They had things that were pertaining to the Bible, to the people in Whoa, the Bible, come on, bro. right? Ah. So, whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. You're telling you me, listen, 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 listen to what you're saying right now. You tell me that that book was brought by the colonizer to a land. I can tell you the person, the missionary that brought it there. You're, you're telling me, and you want me to listen to that book? So can nah, I, bro, brother, listen, let me so can you, I prove let what you're saying is wrong? So can I prove what you're saying is wrong? If I prove what you're saying is wrong, would you believe the Bible? I mean, I'd be more understanding. All right, so give me Deuteronomy 28, right? And give me, uh, give me verse 49. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 49. 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. Now, this Bible, like you said, right, it's, it's ancient. It was written thousands of years ago, right? So this is Moses speaking, right, to the Israelites. So now, give me a uh, 15. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 15. Right. But it shall come to pass. So it shall come to pass. What does that mean? This is about to be a prophecy. Meaning what he's about to say is going to come to pass in the future. 
That's what a definition of prophecy. So now go back to 49. Verse 49. Right? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. So God is going to bring a nation against the children of Israel, the Israelites, right? People of the Bible. Read. From far. From far. From one part of the earth. Read. From the end of the earth. From one end of the earth. Like you said, Dominican, right? The Taino Indians. What happened? You had colonizers who came to that land. Who were those colonizers? Europeans, right? Spanish. People from Spain. Uh, um, all uh, Portuguese as well. Yeah. So all those people came from one part of the earth came to the Dominican Republic. That's to another part What's of the, the next part of the Hold up, brother. I'm about to read it. Or you got to ask some patience. Speak, so no, I'm not in a rush. I'm excited. As right. swift as the eagle flyer. As swift as the eagle flyer. So who today uses the eagle as their uh, emblem? Um, a, lot of people, a lot of people. So mainly so-called white people. Right, they use the eagle, America does, right, the bald right. eagle. Right. Even when you look at Spain, use the eagle, Germany use the eagle. A lot of these different European uh, nations use the eagle, right? So this eagle is representative of white people, the colonizers, European. They're going to come from one end of the earth to another, to the Israelites, read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Read that again. A, a nation, nation whose tongue, tongue thou shalt, shalt not, not understand. understand. So what you said literally is in the Bible. So it said that when these people, when this nation that is moving like an eagle, the spirit of an eagle comes to the other part of the earth, we're not going to understand their tongue. We're not going to understand the language that they're speaking, which is like you said, why today we speak English, we speak Spanish, right? All these different languages that were given to us by the colonizers. Now that's a prophecy that was written in the Bible that we can see happen to Dominican people. All the people on this sign, right, so-called black, Hispanic, and yeah, Native American yeah. people, right? So, wouldn't that prove this to be true? Yeah. All right, so let me answer your question. All right, go ahead. Where, if I'm, tell me if I'm wrong, but the promise is black ass from Zion, you know if I'm wrong? Is it is. Right? So where is that? In uh, Israel. Really? Yes. So give me Galatians. All right, chapter 4, verse 2. So give me Tobit, chapter 1, verse 2. What time is it for you guys back? I'm, not, I'm I supposed to go to a hotel. I got you. Right it's too awful. Appreciate it. All right, I'll take it. All right, go ahead. Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 26. Right. You know. But Jerusalem. But what? But, but Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Read on. Which is above is free. And we're talking about the Israelites here. Right? Which is us. Read on. Which is above is free. Which is the mother of us all. Which is what? Which, which is, is the, the mother, mother of, of us, us all. all. See, that will be our homeland, brother. And it, give me that in Tobit. Tobit 1 verse 4. Right. And when I was in my own country. When I was what? And when, when I, was I was in, in my, my own country. country. It says Tobit, right? The mighty man from the tribe of Nephtali. Right? He said when I was in my own country. His own country, right? We're going to see what country that is. Right? Read. In the land of Israel. No, Dominican Republic. In, in the, the land, land of Israel. Israel. America. In, in the, the land, land of Israel. Israel. No, Peru. In, in the, the land, land of Israel. Israel. In the land of Israel. So the Israelites' homeland is the land of Israel. Right, but we just read in Deuteronomy 28 that it one curse, right? There's a list of curses from 15 to 68, but one of those curses literally said that one nation will come from far and we're not going to understand that language. Exactly what you just told me. So our homeland would be Israel. Alright, to answer your question. Alright, so now give me an, uh give me Jeremiah 17 and verse uh actually give me Deuteronomy. 28 and 16, right? I'm going to prove it even furthermore, right? Because that's just one verse, right? So give me Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, it said God is going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again, right? Because previously they were in Egypt, right? And what were the Israelites doing in Egypt? Sorry if you don't know. So building good. pyramids, my buddy. Yeah, no, you right. Uh, building pyramids, but it wasn't just something they were willingly doing. Right. I want to go build a pyramid. No, they were in slavery to Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Right. right. We're gonna prove this. It's the book of Judah, chapter five, verse eleven. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them. The king of Egypt. Right. Read on. And dealt suddenly with them, and brought them low with laboring and brick, and made, made them, them slaves. And then what? And, and made, made them, them slaves. slaves. Made them slaves. So now the Israelites were slaves to Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Now let's go back into Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Right, so now we know that word Egypt means slavery. Right, bondage. Right, so bring that back up. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Right. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Uh, fun land. With, with ships. ships. With ships, right? Okay. So, who does that fit? Man? Who's ever been brought to Egypt, meaning slavery? Who's been put in slavery with ships? So white people were put in a, a cargo no, slave ship. See that? What do you say everybody? When I say everybody, I'm just talking about. It. You said black people, but God isn't talking. To you. He's talking to so-called black people, but those black people, Hispanic and Native American That's people, right. would be the Israelites. That's right. That's right. Who he's talking to, brother? Right? So read on. Uh. Like you said, black people, right? So-called black people. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with and, ships. Right with ships, and anybody can pick up the Bible. Right, this, that, there's an ideology that says, okay, well, the Bible's been written, it's old, anybody can pick it up, it's been outdated, it, anybody can read it, anybody can flip through the pages, right? This is talking about me, but if anybody goes to Deuteronomy 28 and bring and read 68, they can't say it's talking about them. Right. Only the Israelites can go and read that this is talking about them. If an Asian man picks it up, he's not going to say, this is me. Right. Oh, I know this is me. Right. Ping tong, ping tong, me. Right, right. Like no, I, right. He's going to say, no, this definitely doesn't fit me. What the hell is going on? You right. have the spirit to understand this. Right, read. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right, and going back to like you said, right, we're not going to see our homeland again, which is Israel. Right, read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Ye shall be what? Ye, ye shall, shall be sold, sold unto your, your enemies. enemies. No, your friends. Unto ye, your, your enemies. enemies. Said that you're gonna be sold unto your enemies. I didn't say that, brother. I didn't just write, I didn't have a pen in my back pocket. Say, hold up, I'm gonna write this and then say this. Right? right, right. Right, no. God said that you're gonna be sold unto your enemies. So, to further on, to prove who that is, went on a uh, uh, cargo slave ship. Now these people are gonna be sold unto your enemies. That could only be talking about us. That could only be talking about so called black, Hispanic, and Native American people. That's it, right? So read on. Uh, sold unto your enemies right? for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Right. Slave man and slave woman, and no man shall buy you, meaning no man's going to redeem you out of your captivity, which today we're still in the land of our captivity. That's right. Teach, uh, at the bottom of the society. Who's at the bottom of society? Who's constantly working day and night? Who's constantly working about, uh, worrying about bills, whether they're going to have a roof over their head? Right. right? Who are those people? That's us. We're still not redeemed out of our captivity. Right. So the Most High God, through Yahweh Shai, right. comes and redeems us out of our captivity. Right. 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 Say, say that again? If somebody wants to go home to the promised land, right? Where do they go? What do well, they do? What do they, they want to go there? Okay. Give me, I'm, I'm going to answer this. Give me a uh, math. We're not out in Matthew. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. All right. And he and behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. He said, What can I do to inter inherit uh, eternal life? Right? The kingdom. Right? The promised land. So you can physically go to the promised land, but you, who, who's there right now? You have white people over there, right? You have Israelis, right? right. The people that's not the people of the Bible, right. so the fake Jews, right. not the Israelites, right? So you can go and really, brother, I say just you don't go there, right? because not right now. They, they might do God knows what to you, right? They hate us, right? We don't. Huh. Good master, what good things should I do that I may have eternal life? So the promised land, right? The kingdom of heaven, right? And he said unto him, why call us not good? There's no good. 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 But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. 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 So you guys like you if I'm a bitch and you're a fucking you fucking asshole like everybody says. And that's all I think you worry about. Suck yourself and ask for the ass. Right? No praise the most I got. There you go. Back to the point, brother. Right? That's 
beautiful in the sight of the right, Lord. Right, right, right. So back to the point, brother. <laughs> is that you're an Israelite to make it into that promised land? Is that keeping the land? Now, you say you got 30 minutes. I heard that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard, I heard. He, he said he had 30 minutes, right? I 45. I got 20. Oh, you got 20. Oh, you got 20 minutes. 25? 20 minutes, right? Oh, praise, oh, praise. 22 minutes. 25, right? 25, right? 25, right? So, we're going to give you some commandments, brother. Like it just said in the book of Matthew, right? It said, to make it to the kingdom of heaven, you got to keep the commandments. Now, keeping the commandments uh, isn't just the 10. The big 10, right? The big 10, that's all you got to do, right? Love your neighbors. No, brother. There's over 600 commandments that you got to keep. Over 600 commandments. Give me Matthew 5 and verse 48. It's your heritage, right? Give me Sirach chapter 17 and verse 11, right? Give me Sirach 17 and verse 11. Because these commandments are written to a specific group of people, right. which is us. Right? You already understand that, right? So, before we move on, right? Brothers, before we move on. Right. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll wipe you so you can see the sign well, right? Before we move on, right? You said, what's your father? My parents are both Dominican. Both, both so-called Dominican. What would be your God-given nationality according to the Bible? Israel. Y'all heard it, brother? You heard it? No, I didn't no, hear it. He said he didn't hear it. He said he didn't hear it. So, brother, you're an Israelite, brother. You got to be proud about that. From the tribe of Simeon. Right. You got to say that with pride, brother. All right? So you're an Israelite from the tribe of Simeon. So we're going to read you some commandments, right? Just get to that promised line, like you said, right? We answered your question. To get to the kingdom of heaven, you got to keep the commandments. So we're going to read you some commandments. But first, we read this in the book of Sirach. Well, the brother can read this in Sirach 17 and verse 11. Sirach right? chapter 17 and verse number 11. Right? Right? Oh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. And the what? And, and the, the law, law of life. life. For inheritance. inheritance. Law of life for inheritance, brother. So what is our heritage today? What is our heritage? What is the things that we like to do? What is our accustomed? What is the foods we like to eat? Oh, right? right. So called it is American culture, right? It is a so-called American culture because we follow after America. We follow after the so-called white man. Right. It is different from us because it's not like on us. Right. Right. But God said that the Bible is our heritage. The heritage of so-called Hispanic people is the Bible. Is right. the commandment. Right. You said what? You said Brazilians. Yeah, that's the tribe of Asher. All the way to Colombia to Uruguay is the Brazilians, right? The tribe of what? Tribe of Asher. The same tribe I'm from. The yeah. mighty tribe of Asher. Oh, right, right, right. Spirit, right? <laughs> so, like I was saying, you said Brazilians are the tribe of Asher. So now we're going to read you some commandments, brother. All right? Huh. Yeah, that Leviticus chapter 11 and verse number 7. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. And the swine. Brother, what swine? Pork, right? You eat pork? I don't talk about pork. You say what? Is that a problem? Why is that bad? Well, let's see. Let's see. Give me a select. No, no. You should read on. Though he divide the hoof. And be cloven footed, yet he took not the cud. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. you. That's the problem, brother. Why? What do you mean, why? What is a pig eat? What is the diet of a pig? What do they do? What do they do all day? What's the life of a damn swine, a pig? What do they do? All they do is eat garbage, eat trash, right? They have no sweat glands, right? They're the most disgusting animals. I mean, that's like, I don't really like that because that's right. That's what do you mean you don't like, like that? Let me explain. Let me explain what I mean. It's like something to other, right? It might seem odd the way it exists, but I don't think that we should give our like yeah. human okay. traits. You gotta speak up a little bit. Say it again. Oh, man. Okay, go on. Like if you anthropomorphize an animal, right? You, you use our traits to describe it. It sounds nasty all the time. You know what I mean? It always does. It always okay. sounds gross, okay. right? It'd be like how? What's a good analogy? Like how fish smell terrible when you pull them out of water, right? Okay. That's, you would say it's nasty, right? Because fish I mean, is supposed to. Is good, yeah, but a fish, a, a fish, fish is supposed to be inside right. water, not out of it. And that's why we view it as gross and we don't want to touch it, right? All right, go ahead. Yeah. But in a, a pig, for example, you say it's garbage, correct? What gar what creates garbage at the pig? Well, you have pigs that are in farms, and we feed them garbage, right? Right. But you take a pig outside of it, and where does it exist? In the forest, right? Okay. And it eats mushrooms, no, it eats tubers, right, it eats that's, roots. That's really a hog, right? 
But even but that's like that's like that's semantics. Cool, that's cool, right? I mean, you're even when you look at a hog and, and a swine, right? Else. They still have no sweat glands. So whatever they eat, right? All the like, different toxins. How much animals don't have sweat? Dogs cool. don't got sweat So they don't have. You eat dogs? Okay, so like I was saying, right? They have a lot of uh, toxins, right? That they keep. And the point of the matter, that's just to break it down more, right? The straight up point, that's a straight commandment, brother. God said not to eat. It's right. very simple. Yeah, Either you got to keep the commandments, see, here's right? The, here's the thing with this. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm going to further go into it, right? Give right. me uh, Isaiah 66, right? We're right. going to see why. Right? Oh, but I got to say something after you say that, all right? All right. You got to let me rock, too. Go ahead. Isaiah 66 and verse 17. We know they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves right. in the gardens behind one tree in right. the mist, eating swine's flesh. Eating what? Eating, eating swine's, swine's flesh. flesh. Right, because most High God just told you not to eat swine's flesh. It's an unclean animal. So, not to be disobedient to the Most High, right? You have to keep the commandments. You got to be obedient. That's how simple it is. The Most High said to do something, you got to do it. See, but if God's, God's are all of our fathers, right? He's our father. Well, he's the father of the Israelites. Okay. Right. Yes, right, right. So, my belief is that I I respect somebody that has experience and wisdom, infinite wisdom, right? When they tell me to do something, right? I'm inclined to believe that I shouldn't eat swine, that it's a dirty animal. I'm inclined to believe that. But you can't tell me to do something and not give me reason, reason and understanding as to why. I want to understand why it's considered a dirty animal, why it's considered swine. You see what I'm saying here? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, because, like, before we learned how that washing our hands makes you clean, everyone thought that was stupid to do before surgery, right? And now we understand why. I'm not saying that everything should be scientific. Of course not. But I want to understand what it is about it that makes it unsanitary for me to eat. Because obviously God's making a commandment to better Israel, correct? Correct. I want to understand what, how that commandment better. There's obviously there's commandments that are intuitive, like don't kill people. That's obvious, but it's not intuitive why eating swine is not good. And I want to understand that. You see what I'm saying? It's Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 2. Right. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So God is saying, among the beasts, yeah, these are the ones can. that you yeah, should eat and you should not eat. Right? Go ahead. Whatsoever part of the hoof, part of the hoof, and is cloven footed, right. and chew of the cud right. among beasts, that shall ye eat. Right, so it's simply that you have beasts that the Most High created. He said, out of these beasts, you're going to eat, and out of these, you're not. Right? When you continue to read Leviticus 7 on down, it even goes to the things that are in the water, right? So when you look at shrimps, right? Because that's what it talks about as well. Crabs, lobsters, a lot of these different animals are uncool. They're unsanitary, no, right? Lobsters are the insects we Exactly. Ocean, yeah. So that's really, it's a good thing that the Most High is telling you not to eat these things. Because they're right. bottom feeders, right? things, the diets of these animals, why would you eat them? It's not good for you. And when you look at our people, what, what do our people suffer from? Diseases, right? Gout, right. all these different high things. Blood high blood pressure, pressure okay. right? These people love, people cook with damn bacon grease. Right. That's sick. That's real sick, right? Uh, and another thing to add to it, the animals that uh, the Most High allows us to eat, these animals have multiple stomachs. So when they eat the cud, the grass or the, the green herb, it goes into one stomach. They regurgitate it, they chew it, it processes chicken, some more. Chicken, whoever, is, yeah. So these things help cleanse their body so by the time the food that they eat go into their flesh, their meat, it's cleansed from so toxins and bacteria. So, so the pig's the body doesn't gotcha. clean out those toxins, it just goes straight into the flesh. And then you eat whatever they're eating. Yeah. Yeah, so what that's called? So in ecology, right? When something's like when something is garbage, debris is called detritus. So they eat detritus, right? So that's the problem, is what you're saying. They in a eat. sense, right, but they get the no. they get all that trichology and microology yeah. and oh, ology. Right. The study of all, which, which is what ology means, the study of, all of that goes back to the Bible, right? right. The Most High made that and uh, already understood that. Infinite, like you said, infinite wisdom, right? So, the Most High is telling this for our good, right? The digestive system of these different creatures and animals is not good to consume, right? You got a precept? Okay, so, we're going to read on it, right? Deuteronomy chapter 11, so like Leviticus chapter 11 and verse number 7. Right. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chew off not the cud, he is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean, unclean to you. To you. Unclean animal. Right. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Right. You can't eat it. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. He said it again. Mozart said it again. They are unclean to you. So why would... 
Why would God put an animal on the earth that I'm supposed to be disgusted by? It's not that you should be disgusted by it. It's just that you shouldn't eat it. You put it's it disgusting. on the earth. Hold on, I'm going I'm to I'm break it down. Right? right? Like, like you said, it's a bottle for you. It has a purpose on the earth. I see. So, like a pig, its purpose is to eat other trash, other different things, to clean up uh, lands, to clean up different trash and sewages and different things. Because back then, you didn't have a garbage truck that would come every Monday to pick up the trash. Right. So, Check you would out. have the purpose of that animal to do the clean. The right. same thing with the bottle feeders of the ocean. What does a shrimp eat? What does a, a, a crab eat? All these different bottom, it's in the name, bottom feeders, it's to clean the ocean. That's why the harbor looks the way it looks because people take those things out of the ocean and eat it. That's why the harbor is dirty. The natural use of those creatures are being taken out, right? That's why it's not doing the cleaning, right? You with me? That makes sense? Yeah, but the indigenous people of America are also, like the Seminoles, for example, in Florida. Right. Yeah, Seminoles in Florida? Yeah, Seminoles in Florida. I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, Go to Jeremiah 17 verse 4. They did. And even when you look at the indigenous people, they uh get 2nd Ezra chapter 13 verse 44. They went to another land, right? They were keeping the commandments. They had a lot of customs that were in that were uh Hebraic customs, right? The past you had indigenous uh, Native Americans that were keeping the Passover, then breaking the bones of the land. It's different. Listen to what I'm saying, right? There are different customs they're keeping. But at the end of the day, they still prophesied that we're going to lose our heritage. So they still went off. They still didn't uh, keep the commandments. So regardless if they ate that, they're going off. Right, so give me that in Jeremiah 17 verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Right. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Shalt discontinue from my heritage. Like we read inside, right? The laws are our heritage. We're going to be discontinued from that. Which is why you had indigenous people and a lot of our people to this very day that still eat pork, that still eat these different things, that still right. go off. Because we're going to lose what God gave us. Why are we going to lose that? We never kept the commandments. We never wanted to follow the Most High. We never wanted to do what the Most High God said, right? And the, and the yeah. things that's written there is. Can I ask you a question? All right, go ahead. Okay, so. Um, thank you. Okay, so we said. The colonists are going to come and they're going to enslave you. They're going to no, God, yeah. God said that. Okay, you have this entire thing. What's going on right now, right? Everything that's we're here, right? So, when when the missionaries came to the Western Hemisphere, right? The first, they're the first people to come. It's never the people that come and I'm enslave listening. you. It's always, I got you. It's always the missionaries that come first, right? And they have the Bible and they bring it. They try to, they try to what's the word? They bring God to these savages, they would say, right? Um... Have you ever thought that like maybe the thing you believe right now, I'm not saying I disbelieve you, I, I appreciate everything you've been telling me. It's making me think a lot about what I believe. I appreciate you guys all for this a lot. But um, you ever think that this is maybe just a really big cope on the part of everyone that got the Bible? I mean, we all, they all, they came here with this book to make us stop being savages. And then they enslaved us and they exterminated the people that were, were my, my history, my ancestors, yeah. right? Our ancestors. Yeah. And then the only thing we have is this book that they gave us. So we yeah. decided to listen to it. You're right. You're right. That's, so now that just sounds like coke to me. That does. That does. That sounds like Stockholm. And you're right. Syndrome. That is okay, Stockholm too. But they didn't. They did it. They brought the Bible. Uh -huh. It's not that they brought the Bible. The Bible already existed. Uh -huh. They took the Bible and made up different doctrines and enslaved them using the Bible. Right. So what was one thing that they taught in slavery that you can't read? They prevented us from reading. Why is that? Because they didn't want us to read the Bible. This is the brother in um that led the slave revolt. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Yep. When he started to learn to read, he, he wanted to leave a slave revolt. Now, to answer your question, right? It's not that they brought the Bible. That's interesting. Right? But the book was there before they even Exactly. Actually. So they brought religion. They brought this brother. This this is what they brought. That man right there. Give me Revelation 1. That's the man that they brought. That man, exactly. Is that that man? Yeah, right, right, right. That's exactly who they brought. But now I'm I'm gonna read you two scriptures, right? First give me Revelation 13 and 9, right? They give me Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 13 and verse number 9. Now, you said that why would they bring this Bible to us, right? And we still believe it. Tell me why why would they leave this in the Bible if this is their book? Right? If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right, you got an ear, brother. You can hear, all right? You know? He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He, he that leadeth into captivity. captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Right? 
shall go into captivity. Oh, it says, they that lead people into captivity will go into captivity. Mm. So, if they brought us the Bible, why would they leave that in there? Do you understand what that means? That's saying that these white people, these colonizers, these Spanish, these English, all these Europeans, right, that put our people in slavery, put our people in chains, that put our people in yokes of iron, they're going to be put into captivity. Mm. That's our prophecy. That's right. So why would they let us, why would they leave that in there? Right. Because they never did anything to the actual words. What they did is bring this, like you said, that MF, right? right. This man, they brought doctrine, they brought religion, they brought philosophy, right. which America still does today. It's nothing to do with the Bible, it's the things that they taught. Right, read on. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Read that again. He that killeth, killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, right? Right, so it says that who, who did that? The Spaniards, the Europeans, when they came to the Dominican Republic, when they came to South America, like where my family is from, right? They came and killed them with the sword, right? But God said that these people who did that will be killed with the sword. Must be killed. Must be killed. So shouldn't they take that out? Why would they want us? Why would they keep that in there? Right. That's judgment against their own people. Right. Mm. That's judgment for the people that brought this book, right? And right. enslaved right. our people. Yes. Right. So how does that make it? That's a contradiction. Mm. Right? Mm. So now, like you said, they brought this man, right? This man is this man is a creep, right? right. This freak. man is a fake and a freak. Right. Right. So I'm gonna prove you that that was what was brought to us as a people, right? That's why all these people worship this man. They worship a white. That's, that's a man in history named Susan Borg Church. All Hispanic people still to this very day have crosses on their necks, right? Still worship a white man, right? So we're going to see, right, another point, whether if they brought this to us, right? Give me Revelation 1 and verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So woolly texture, right? First of all, this man has, does not have white hair. He has blonde hair, right? Read on. As white as snow. Right? Hold on, hold on. Slide. Hold on. All right? All right? So he got blonde hair, right? Read that again. His head and his hairs right? were white like wool. White like wool. This is not woolly textured hair. What color, I mean, what uh, texture is wool? Like a sheep, a curve, right? Stick, right? No, no, sorry, sorry. Right? So, read on. As white as snow. Right? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. This man doesn't have fiery red eyes. Yeah. So, they we're going into the description. It's all good. I'm good. I'm good. To watch. Right? We're going into the description of so called Jesus Christ. Right? Read on. Right. It's like. And his. Feet like and his eyes were as a flame of fire, right. and his feet like unto fine brass. Read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. If you took your shoes off, right? Your feet will be the same color as your body. Right? So it said his feet, John the Revelator is seeing his feet, and he's saying that he looked like his skin got burnt in a furnace. So if I put if I put something in a furnace, what color would it be? It'll be black, very black, very dark. This man does not fit the description. At all. So, like you said, white Jesus. This is what they brought. This is what they enslaved our people with. Right? Right. This is what our people today, right, so-called Hispanic people, still to this very day, worship, right? They still worship that man, right? We're, we're not worshiping that man. At all. We, we, hit, we step on this. Right. right. We step right. on this people. Right. That's right. 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 We step on that, brother. That's what we do. We step on it. We don't give a damn about that white damn Jesus, right? right? What we care about is about the most high God, right. the Israelites, our people, and our real uh, heritage. Right. right. So, to your point, right? Going back to your point, you said that they brought this book. I just read to you that things, it would, it would make no sense that they would bring this to our book, I mean, to us, and leave those things written. Now, you even have, you can literally look it up. It's called the Slave Bible. Right? It's a slave Bible that majority of the Bible was taken out. Right? Revelation, I believe. That that scripture that we just read is literally out of the Bible. Why would they take the description of Jesus Christ out of the Bible? Why would they take also Revelation is not in the Bible, right? Now what we read in Revelation 13 and 9, right? Isn't in the Bible. The slave Bible. Why would they take that out? 
So we don't we remember. So give me songs, right? Uh, uh, you got to go, brother. All right, brother. You an Israelite, all right? Let me give you a flyer. So mm -hmm. you're an Israelite. Don't forget that. Where are you coming from? Right? Please, your map is even wrong. Like my ancestor, we are the Inca, you know. I, I, my last name, I was the Inga general protecting the king. Go check, go ask Google. My last name, my last name, yeah, Apomaita. Yeah, like, so your, your map is even wrong. Like Inga, like we are the Incas, okay? Yeah, your map is wrong. So like go, go home. So you done, you see that? Go home. Right, so <laughs> you don't want to stand up for what you believe in, right? I believe in. Okay. I want you Israel. So, so, I want you Israel. Okay, so what in language 2020. were the Incas speaking before their indigenous language? Amara. Which is what? Which is what? Which is what? I don't know. Uh, what language? You don't know what that language is. Just saying stuff. So the I indigenous. It's human language. It's, it's human not language. a human language. No. <laughs> So the point that we're making is that that, is lang wrong. that language Inca is now in Colombia, Uruguay. Learn your map. I am the in my ancestor Inga Inga general. Okay, go check Google. Well, Ask you're gonna Google. be destroyed. God's gonna kill you right, straight right, up, right? Because right? okay. you're going off. You're breaking the Sabbath. Right, right. You're not keeping the commandments. God. You're this going against God. the Bible. God's gonna kill you, right? Scoffing against the men of the Lord, right? Right. right. So we're going back. Okay. Yeah, my, my friend is coming. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read that again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read that again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So called Hispanic people are literally destroyed by a lack of knowledge. Have no idea who the hell they are. Right. Have no idea what the language is. Don't right. know who their ancestors are. See, this was Inga, Inga General. Inga General, okay? Go ask Google. 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 I will also reject thee. And they're like, because oh, thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Most are rejectable. That's what she's going against the words of the Lord, right? And that's mad. Right? She with a Moabite. Right. She's literally with the Moabite. A damn wash pot. Right. Like this is the Incan Empire from Google. One try <laughs> yeah. right, bring it up. This is the Incan Empire from Google. Yeah. The Incan Empire, yeah, right? Incan Empire, empire yeah. right? For yeah, the boy. realm of the four parts, was the largest empire in pre-Columbian America. Right. Yeah. And the administrative, politic, and military center of the empire was in the city of Custo and in Inca civilization. Rose from the Peruvian highlands, sometimes in the 13th century. Right, there you go. Right, the biggest end, one of the biggest right. She ran away. She ran away from the fact. She and left her man in the back. Right. They're goofy right. bullfight. Right. 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 She ran. Deuteronomy 28. Right. In verse 36. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 36. Right. right. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee. Read that again. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee. Right, and when you look, when you look at that, right? What's going on? You got a question? You got a question? You said they don't speak English. I say they don't speak English. They don't understand. somebody in Spanish? No, you are loud in Spanish. La gente no quiere escuchar. La gente no quiere escuchar the palabra de Dios. Peru, Peru, a lot of Christian people from Peru. Don't I I'm, I'm, I'm pastor for a Roadway Bible Church. I'm Peru. I'm so, Peru. So, you want to have a guy that's in the middle of the church? No, that's his body. No, I'm talking to you. No. Right, you I'm, came... I'm a pastor. Okay, I'm a pastor. so you're a pastor, right? Yeah. What does that have to do with this? You said you want to have a conversation. No, I'm, I'm suggested, suggested to say in Spanish. Okay, you're a pastor, right? What's your God give the nationality? Okay. I'm asking you a question. What is your God given? What is your God given nationality? You said you're a pastor, right? But why you no nice? Say nice. Give me Isaiah 58 verse 1. Give me Isaiah 58 verse 1. Be nice. 
Ain't no damn nice. Right. We're not no damn pastor. Right. We're not the damn Christian church. Right. This is not the church that keeps okay. enslaving okay. our okay. damn people. Right. You're the you the one that's in wrong. So you're in sin and you stop suggested. leading our people into damn destruction. So right. Bring that up. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Right. Bring it up. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Don't be nice. Cry aloud. Don't be nice. Cry aloud. Read. Spare not. Do what? Spare not. Don't care about his feelings. Spare not. Right. We're not sparing not. Right? Right. right. And, 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 you know, I try to come out at the beginning, you know, humble, try to get our people to understand. But at the end of the day, Northern Kingdom still moving in that same spirit. Right, right. Northern Kingdom still want to be a uh, worship idol. Right. Uh, damn, want to go on the top of a ship and freak off. Right. 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 Want to worship the so-called white man. Right. This man, read on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Do what? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read that again. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read that again. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Right, this is not the church. No, uh, no, hay un cristiano. No es la la misa. No es la iglesia. Es la Biblia de los Israelitas. That's right. That's right. And show my people that transgression. Read that again. And show my people that transgression. And mostrar los otra gente todos los pecados que están aquí, porque hoy en día no somos latinos. No somos hispanos. Right. No somos todos las palabras que la gente gringa right. nos llama. Right. 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 Yes. In the house of Jacob, their sins. In the what? In the, In the house, house of Jacob, Jacob their sins. Right, porque nosotros la gente sigue estando en pecado hoy en día. Hoy día es el sábado. Y nosotros gente quiere ir a comprar, no quieren guardar los mandamientos como Israelitas hoy en día. Right. Right. Yes. Uh. Verse 2. Right, to sit on there, right? To show our people transgression. So, going to that point, no matter if I'm in Spanish, they're Portuguese, our people are all. Our people are wicked and don't want to hear the words of the Lord. Right. Right? Right, hey brother, hermano, there you go. See that? He don't want to listen to the words of the Lord. Right, put his head down. Because you know the Bible's coming out. Hermano, tiene dos minutos para la Biblia. See that? Our people want to freak off on the damn ship. Right, Nate. Right, and go name, go back to that, where, where we uh, left Holy off, I, uh, Hosea chapter 11, right, Hosea chapter 11, uh, start at verse uh, 3. Mira, ve, este de aquí, este, este de acá, este mapa, este es de Perú, mm. este no es Colombia, ni Uruguay, ni, este es Perú, de acá. Ahora, ahora te digo algo, bueno, eso dice Colombia hasta Uruguay. Está hablando de la parte de Sudamérica, toda la parte de Colombia. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ajá, de arriba hasta abajo. Ah, ya, ya. Ok. Entonces, ahora que me he preguntado eso, ¿right? Que la, la cosa que estamos diciendo es que nosotros hay gente de Perú, de uh, Bolivia, de Colombia, latino, de uh, uh, Central America, todos los lugares que somos el pueblo escogido de Dios. ¿Por qué? La palabra Perú, la palabra latino, no se encuentra en la Biblia. Entonces, ¿quién somos hoy en día? Porque la palabra Inca, la palabra uh, uh, Latinx, uh, uh, Hispano, todas sus palabras right, right. no se puede leer en la Biblia. Right, right, right. Por eso estamos diciendo que cuando lees la Biblia, hay unos pecados y hay maldiciones que han pasado a los israelitas. Right, right, right. Okay? Por eso, hoy en día, somos esa gente. Okay? Ahora, porque hoy en día decimos que nosotros, a nuestra identidad, son la identidad de los Incas, ¿lo ¿no De la gente nativa que estaba en esa parte de Perú. Pero, esa gente en Perú, de los de lo, de lo Incas, ellos uh, tenían cosas hebreas en la Biblia. Entonces, esa gente siempre eran de los dos tribus de Israel. Esa es nuestra herencia en la Biblia. Está conmigo. Ok. Entonces, tenemos que guardar los mandamientos como, un, uh, uh, como una nación de gente que son los dos tribus de Israel. Te voy a leer algo. Ok. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 49. Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Going out on day. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Yahweh, Torahera, contra ti una nación. Right. Dice que eh, Yahweh, que es el nombre de Dios, va a traer una nación de gente contra ti. Right? Eh, ¿Quién es ese ti? Son los Israelitas. Ahora, 
Aquí Moisés está hablando a los israelitas. Después que han ido de Egipto, está diciendo que hay maldiciones que van a pasar a nuestra gente. Right, we don't. Uh. De lejos, del extremo de la tierra. De, del extremo de la tierra. Entonces, cuando veamos la, la historia de nosotra uh, gente, de los peruanos, ¿no ve? ¿Qué ha pasado los hijos? ¿Qué ha pasado los hijos que estaban ahí? ¿Qué? Okay. Los hijos que tenían, uh, uh, toda la gente tenía un, uh, un zey, ¿no ve? ¿Qué ha pasado a todos los hijos que estaban en, en, en Perú? En la historia. Los fueron conquistados. Ahora, los conquistados, ¿quién? Los españoles. ¿No ve? Ahora, give me the in Uruguay 2836. Ahora, la historia de los Incas se encuentra en la Biblia. Right, read it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 36. Jehovah, te llevará a ti y a que cubreres puesto sobre ti. No, hombre, el, el sé que nosotros hemos puesto nosotros por nuestra gente, como los Incas. Tenía un zey y tenía todos los incas que estaban ahí. Tenían uh, oro, tenían uh, plata, todas sus cosas. Pero nunca hemos guardado los mandamientos. Right. Nunca los incas han ido a la Biblia, han agazado la Biblia right. y hemos leído la Biblia. Right, right, nunca right. han hecho yes, eso. Yes. Right. Right. We don't. A nación que no consiste. Una nación que no, vamos a, no la vamos a conocer. Right. Entonces, ¿quién es esa nación que van a venir a los incas? Son los españoles, son los gringos, la gente blanca, está conmigo. Entonces, esa gente van a venir a los incas. Esto es una profecía que está escrito en la Biblia. Que Moisés yes. está hablando a los israelitas. Right, read. Ni tu, 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 ni tus padres right. y a la... Nosotros padres, nosotros a, a gente de antes nunca sabía, nunca sabíamos este hombre. Nunca sabían, los incas también tenían como mil de dioses que estaban creyendo. Esas cosas, Dios, el único Dios, el Altísimo, que se llama Yahweh, ha dicho que right. esa gente no van a saber esto. Right. Porque nunca hemos guardado los mandamientos. Y haya severas a dioses ajenos. Al palo y a la piedra. El palo y la piedra también. Entonces, ¿qué son esas cosas? El palo, que es la cruz ahí en la misa. ¿Eso se, se de qué es? Es un palo. ¿No ve? Ahí que está en la cruz es el hombre gringo. ¿No ve? Entonces, por no guardar los mandamientos, por eso los incas son sí. los dos tribus de Israel hoy en día. De tribu de Ash. Right. Right. Eso es nosotros hay de, uh, uh, herencia. ¿Ok? Entonces, tú eres una israelita, hermano. ¿Ok? Yeah, de la tribu de Ash. Yeah, ah. Entonces, hoy en día, hermana, tenemos que guardar los mandamientos. ¿Ok? Tenemos que leer la Biblia. Tenemos que leer la Biblia y guardar los mandamientos. Right? Let's get, let's go back here. Jose, 11 and verse, let's start at verse 2. English. Hosea 11, verse 2. Hermano, ¿qué ha ¿Cómo está, hermano? Mira, mira, disculpe. Para subir ahí, so the brother is asking how to get to the street. How to this? Escucha esto. Give me Deuteronomy, right? Give me Deuteronomy. 28 y 49. Ahora, antes que vamos a bar, give me 68, right? Le voy a decir algo en un bar. Ok. So, que estamos haciendo aquí, estamos diciendo, toda la gente que está aquí, latino, ¿dónde son ustedes? Yo vengo de Bolivia, ¿sabes? Nosotros, gente de Central America, Sudamérica, Colombia, peruanos, toda la gente latina, son el pueblo que de Dios. Son. ¿Quién son hoy en día en la Biblia? Los Islamitas. ¿Quién? Ahora, vamos a leer algo en la Biblia. Solo para ver que está hablando de un barco, ¿no ven? Vamos a ver algo de un barco. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Y Yahweh te hará volver y volver a Egipto en la vez. Ahora, 
está diciendo que Jawa es el, el, el verdadero nombre de Altísimo Dios. Los israelitas en la Biblia, ¿eh? la gente que están escogido en la Biblia, van a ir a Egipto. ¿Qué estaban haciendo? No sé si sabes. La gente que estaba en Egipto antes, ¿qué estaban haciendo? ¿Qué estaban haciendo la gente? Eran esclavos. ¿Lo ves? Ahora, no, no, no. Dice que van a ir a Egipto otra vuelta. Pero no van a ir caminando, o solo que vamos a estar esclavos otra vez. Ahora, bueno, mires la historia de nuestra gente, lo la dice, ¿no ve? ¿Qué ha pasado a nuestra gente? La gente que estaba en indígena, de Ecuador, o Perú, o todas las diferentes, uh, diferentes partes, ¿qué ha pasado a nosotros? Han venido los españoles, ¿no ve? Ahora, es una, algo que nunca nos van a decir la misa, algo que nunca nos van a decir la religión, algo que nunca nos van a decir right, right. este mundo, right. que eso es una profecía en la Biblia. ¿Qué ha pasado a nosotros? Ahora vamos a ver esa profecía. ¿Puedes tomar una foto? Right? Uh, no, aquí no. Ah, ok. Y Jehová, de ahora volver a Egipto en la vez. Ahora, esa palabra Egipto significa con uh, uh, esclavitud. Ok? Por el camino del cual te ha dicho, nunca más lo verás y allí si eres, si eres, si eres, vendidos, vendidos. Ahora, ¿qué ha pasado a la gente que estaba en el Ecuador? ¿Los indígenas que estaban en el Ecuador? ¿Qué ha ¿Quién ha hecho los españoles en ese tiempo? Es una pregunta. ¿Qué han hecho cuando, cuando, los, o sea, cuando los españoles han venido a Ecuador? ¿Qué, qué le han hecho a la gente? Esclavitud. Esclavitud. Right? Ahora, estamos mirando la historia de los israelitas y podemos ver no, mil de años a frente que ha pasado esa gente. Es una profecía que está escrito ahí. Pero la gente que está hablando aquí son los israelitas. Eso es el punto que nosotros somos israelitas del pueblo escogido de Dios. ¿Ok? Ahora, miró. Bendidos a vuestros enemigos. Nosotros enemigos. ¿Miró? Por esclavos. Por esclavos. Y por esclavos. Y no habrá quien os compre. Esa palabra comprar dicen que no va a haber na, una persona aquí que nos van a sacar de este uh, captivity porque aquí pensamos que vas a vivir bien en los Estados Unidos que estamos viviendo bien en este país y aquí pero aquí nosotros lo, uh, los gringos nos trajeron aquí por esclavitud es una profecía que está escrito mil de años atrás que ha pasado a nosotros ¿eh? entonces hoy en día hermano el punto es que somos israelitas, Deuteronomy 76, que somos israelitas, eso es el punto, porque la palabra latino, hispano, la palabra hispano, bueno, pones en Google, puedes ver esto, ¿no ves? Pones en Google, hispano significa en propiedad de España, nosotros no somos propiedad de España, somos gente, ¿no ves? Entonces somos una nación de gente, por eso, por eso, no, ¿por qué nos vamos a llamar uh, hispanos? No somos propiedad de España. Right, so, Deuteronomy right. chapter 7 and verse 6. Porque tu eres pueblo santo para. Aquí está diciendo que los Isalitas es un pueblo santo. Right, we don't. Para Yahweh, tu Dios. Yahweh, tu Dios, te ha escogido. Esta gente que Dios ha dicho, porque siempre dicen que todos somos humanos, ¿no ve? todos eh, uh, somos uno, pero eso ha venido de los españoles, de, de los conquistadores, de esa gente que ha venido a nuestro país y han traído eso. La Biblia no dice eso, ellos han dicho eso. ¿Miron? Por eso estoy leyendo esto. Eh, eso es una historia. Es una historia. Pero los españoles. Mm. No. ¿O ¿Cómo no. es esto? So, uh, es, es la Biblia, ¿no ¿eh? ah. En la Biblia, aquí son, hay diferentes profecías que está hablando de los israelitas. Los israelitas estamos leyendo para ver quién son hoy en día. ¿Es la Biblia de Israel? No, es, es la Santa Biblia. La Santa Biblia nomás. Ahora, estamos diciendo que 
so, solo que el punto es que en la Biblia, la gente que están escogidos, que son esta gente, los dos tribus de Israel, israelitas, somos nosotros herencia. Nosotros hay identidad. Porque tenemos tanto identidad aquí en Estados Unidos. Uh, nos dimos que somos latinos, latinx, hispanos, inca, todos, pero en la vida no se encuentra ninguna de esas cosas. Todos solo encuentran a diferentes naciones de gente, pero una nación que son los israelitas, son el pueblo escogido de Dios. Okay. Ahora vamos a leer esto, antes que te vas. Ya, ¿cómo tu Dios te ha escogido para... Sale un pueblo. Ahora, este, todo este libro aquí está escrito a los israelitas, no a todo el mundo. Entonces, con eso, así, aquí está diciendo Dios a los israelitas que esa gente está escogida. Right? Es un, un, una gente que está separado de toda la gente que está aquí. Right, you know? Un pueblo especial. Un pueblo especial, you know? Más que todos los pueblos. Right, más que todos los, los pueblos. pueblos. Más que todos los pueblos. Mejor de toda la gente que está aquí. Aquí ha dicho que los hombres latinos somos el pueblo más alto de toda la gente. Y realmente, cuando mires aquí, eso está pasando. Aquí hoy en día uh, tenemos, mira, tanta gente está viniendo aquí, pero hay diferentes naciones de gente como los griegos, los chinos. No, esto hombre que está aquí, un griego, que está viniendo a ver qué, qué estamos haciendo nosotros. Ahí está escrito que eso, por eso somos mejor de la gente que están aquí, mejor de todas las diferentes naciones. Pero hoy en día, ¿qué nos dice el hombre griego? Que somos uh, criminales. ¿Qué ha dicho uh, Donald Trump en, en, en la televisión? Que ha dicho que nosotros latinos somos uh, criminales. Somos, uh, 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 violamos y traemos drogas aquí en este país. Pero Dios ha dicho que eso no es la verdad, que nosotros latinos, que somos israelitas, somos mejores de ellos. Somos sí, sí, sí. mejores que todos los pueblos que están aquí. Eso es el punto. Okay, thank you. Okay, te voy a dar un... Mira, dame un... Mira esto, okay. Oh, okay. No, Mira YouTube que está ahí, puedes aprender más. Hicimos todas las cosas, pero todo en español. Germán, okay. y salita, no te olvides. José, chat 11. And verse number two, as they called them, so they went from them. They sacrificed unto Balaam and burnt incense to graven images. Right, and it is right, and they uh, nor the kingdom was them serving graven images, right, burning incense, right, right uh, doing sacrifices to other gods. Right, we still doing that to this day. Right, that shit is a damn god. Right, right, the so-called white man is your god. Right, right to this very day. Right, guys, y'all a question real fast. Right, we gotta be with our own nation, right. separate from the white man. Right, right, see, see that? that? Huh. Verse three, I taught Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms. Right, and the most I took you, right, he showed you, right, he showed you the commandments, right, he showed you your heritage, right, he showed you their goodly heritage, like David said, right, three. But they knew not that I healed them. I drew them with cords of a man. Right, and, and they don't know that the Most High healed you, right? right. The Most High is still preserved you to this day. Hermano, una pregunta. ¿Qué es la Biblia? Okay, so mira, estamos diciendo que de, de dónde eres? Perú. De Perú. Hay hartos peruanos aquí, ¿no es? Sí, por el... Okay, so, ¿qué es la Biblia? No, I'm a believer. You're a believer? So, you want to thank the English or the Spanish? Okay, so what we're saying is that in the Bible, that we... Hispanic people, right, like myself, are so-called believers, right? That us Hispanic people will be God's chosen people. We will be Israelites, right? Because today, what do uh, what does society call us? Right? What does society think of us? Right? Even when you look at the so-called president of the United States, Donald Trump, right? He was a man that ran this country, the whole United States, 50 states, right? Whatever it is, right? He said that we're what? 
he looked at Hispanic people and said, all they are murderers, criminals, right, right. the drug dealers, right. right? They bring all these different things. But we don't, we don't care what uh, society thinks. We care about what God said, That's right? right? So go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. We're going to see what God said to the Israelites, right? Because the Bible is talk, always talking about the Israelites. That's right. The promises, the covenants, the things pertaining to the law, the sacrifice, the priesthood, all these different things is going to the Israelites, but we are the people, okay? Nothing to do with religion, that this is our identity. This is who we are. This is our actual heritage. All right, so bring that up. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse number six. Bring it up. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Read that part again. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Right. Said above all people. So God said that the uh, uh, Israelites be above all people, right? So that's contrary to society's belief. That's contrary to uh, what the white man thinks, that we're all equal, that we're all human, that we're all one, that we all believe red. But God just said Hispanic people which are the Israelites, are above all people. And it's very true to this very day. All these different people who are Peruvian, who are Hispanic. When Israelites come out, this is what happens. Right. Right? You, have, you make a long line, right? You have people trying to come out to see what we do, right? right? But that's because that's the spirit. We, uh, we are above all people. That's right. 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 Above all people right. that are upon the face of the earth. Right, that are upon the face of the earth. So God just said the Israelites, all the people on this sign, right? Will be above all people. What does that mean? Right. Do, you, do you believe that? Do you believe that do you think a, a white woman could cook as good as you? Dang. You need to know. Yeah. No, you guys say I don't know so. No There's so. no way. Who, how many white people do you see of Right. Right. How many white people do you see in other nations of people trying to go to our so-called establishments to eat our food? Right. Right. Because we, we got the salt. Right. We're just right. special. We're a chosen people. Right. So the point is, I'm gonna prove to you that you will be God's chosen people in Israel. Right. I'm gonna read you a verse on a good one. Okay. Last one. All right. Last one. Last one. All right. Last one. Deuteronomy 28 and 36, right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 36. Bring it out. Long line, right? The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation. Slack, slack. Read that again. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee. Right, so the Lord is going to go against the, uh, a king that the Israelites are going to set up. So now, when you look at Peruvians and you look at the Incan Empire, that's one of the biggest empires between uh, indigenous people, right? So, when you look at that empire, what did they do? They set up a king, right? They set up an Incan uh, ray. Right, read. Gone. Which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Right. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there what? And, and there, there thou, thou shalt, shalt serve other gods. gods. And the Incans, when you even look at the Incans, even us today, we serve other gods outside of the Bible. What are those other gods? That right there, that man is not in the Bible, right? Who they say Jesus Christ is, that is this man that our people love so much, and our people worship so much, that's not who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ will be described as a so-called black man. That's a right. man with really hair, red eyes, and dark skin, right? So, that will, those would be other gods that we worship. And it said that king that they set up, like the Incans, the Incans uh, believed in many gods. They had the god of the uh, sun, the god of the uh, earth, the god of this element and that element, the god of the rain, right? Those are, those are, that's a prophecy that's written in the Bible that's talking about who? It's talking about us, right? Hispanic people. So, the point is, is that we will be Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. All right, take this fly. Right, so you are in Israel, like, you're in the tribe of Asher, don't forget that, look into the future. Alright, all praises. All, all praises to the Messiah. Alright? Oh, oh. Go back to Hosea, chapter 11. Alright? Again, Hosea, chapter 11. Hosea, chapter 11. Eleven, verse 3. Alright? I taught Ephraim also to go 
right. taking them by their arms. But they knew not that I healed them. Right. I drew them accords of a man with bands of love. Right. And I was to them as they that take off the yoke on their jaws. Right. And I laid meat unto them. He shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian shall be his king. Familia, familia. Right, read on. Uh, because they refused to return. Because they what? Because, because they, they refused to return. return. Because they what? Because, because they, they refused to return. return. Right, and they refused to return. Right. How many? How many damn northern kingdom, uh, 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 Jakes and Eves did I try to bring back to the words of God? See that? Just damn, uh, uh turn away the soul. Right. Uh, shoulder. Shoulder. Right. Stiffness. Right. Stiffness and hard head. Right. That don't want to listen to the words of the Lord. So bring that back out, and Hosea. Go on. Hosea 11 verse 5. Right. He shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian shall be his king. But who? But, but the, the Assyrian, Assyrian shall, shall be his king. king. Read that again. But, but the Assyrian, Assyrian shall, shall be his king. king. The Assyrian shall be their king. Just like in the Assyrian captivity, which uh, Northern Kingdom was under, the Assyrian was their king. And that's still to this very day. You had a so-called white man as your Assyrian king. Right. See that? You had this damn ship as your Assyrian king. See that? Familia, como están? Tienes 30 segundos. Va la Biblia, hermano. Right? And the Assyrian is the king to this very day. Worshiping the white man, or worshiping the different nations, right? Still uh, mingling with Esau to this very day. I mean, it's madness, right? Madness. Read. Because they refuse to return. Because they refuse to return, right? And I'm led to believe, right? Most I will, I'm wrong. But there's a small number of Northern Kingdom that's sealed, man. Yeah. There's a lot of Northern Kingdom that can come back to the most. Right. right. A lot. A lot of northern kingdom is still in idolatry right. and these strongholds, man. That cut, gotta come back to the most high. Read. And the sword shall abide on his cities. And the what? And the, the sword, sword shall abide, abide on the cities. cities. Right, and the sword shall abide in the cities. Read. And shall consume his branches and devour them right. because of their own counsels. Right. And my people are bent so like are bent to backsliding from me. Right, and our people are bent to backsliding. They keep going back to all these different ideologies. They keep going back to slavery right. with the white man taught you. Right. They keep going back with these damn Spaniards taught you. Right. right. Going to see a damn horse in the show. Right. Right. Read. Come. Like from a bit back to backsliding from me, though they called them to the Most High. None. Right, right, right. Do not keep the commandments. Don't die. Right, you will die in the land of your enemies. Right. Right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Right. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Bring them back. Gone. Though they called them to the Most High. Though they what? Though they called them to the Most High. Read that again. Though they called them to the Most High. Though we called them to the Most High. Them thousands. I've never seen so many Nordic kingdoms. Right, right, no, right. I've never. I mean, that's Not madness. Once. But when it comes to calling them to the Most High, it's zero. It's right. one. It's two. Like two. That's right. it. There's right. so many damn Nordics, but they still don't want to come back to the Most High to this very day. Right, right. Three? right. None at all would exalt them. Can I read that again? None, None at all would exalt them. Right. None at all. Right? Damn near nobody wants to come back and hear the commandments. Nobody wants to hear the words of the Lord. Not knowing that this is your God-given nationality. Right. right? Not knowing that you are God's chosen people. Right. You're not Hispanic and you're not Latino. Right. Read. Good. How shall I give thee up Ephraim? How shall I deliver thee Israel? Right. How shall I make thee as Adam? Right. How shall I set thee as Zebul? Mine heart. Is turned within me by right. repentance are kindled together. Right. I will not execute the fierceness of mine anger. I will not return to destroy Ephraim, for I am the most high and not man, the holy one in the midst of thee. And I will not enter to the city. Go to, uh, go to chapter 8. Start at verse 1. What's going on, brother? How you doing? All right, brother. You know you were Israelite? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. you, about it? you know what today is? Yes, Sabbath. Yes, sir. Sabbath. Alright, so we're we, huh? we gonna have fridges on, brother. Yes, sir. Alright, 
Alright, you an engine lock, bro. You gotta keep the commandments, alright? Yes, try to get away, try to keep the seven and get holding, alright? Alright. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Como esta familia? Familia, como esta? Hoy en día somos Israelitas. Tiene 30 segundos para la Biblia. Alright, we just ready. We try to bring them back to the most high, and they don't want to listen. Right! Thousand! Thousand! Big! Right? Read? Big! Speak. Right. They don't even speak English. <laughs> right? Read out. Go, go to chapter 8, and verse 1. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 8, and verse 1. Right. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. Fig is Satan. Fig, fig is just a See thing. that? What the hell is he doing? Right. They don't even understand him. Right. <laughs> what is he going to say? Bring that out. Bring that out. Hosea 8 verse 1. Right. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. Read that again. Set, Set the, the trumpet, trumpet to thy mouth. mouth. Read that again. Set, Set the, the trumpet, trumpet to thy mouth. mouth. That's what we're doing. It's setting the trumpet to our mouth. Right? Lord and our people. That all hell is about to break loose. Right? That the most high through your house shot is going to come back and destroy this earth. If you don't come back as an Israelite. If you don't keep the commandments. Right? Read. He shall come as an eagle. Right? Against Amelia, como esta? Tiene 30 segundos para la Biblia. Right, read again. Read it again for the top. He shall come as an eagle. Como estamos? Una pregunta. Look at you say something. Right, right. Yeah. Read that again. Hosea 8 verse 1. Right. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. Read that again. Set, Set the, the trumpet, trumpet to thy mouth. Read that again. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. And the trumpet is used in war. We're in war right now, right? Right, this right. Is spiritual warfare, right? That our people to this very day have no idea who the hell they are. Have no idea that you're not Hispanic. Right. That you're not rude. Right. That you're not an eagle. Right. 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 Chosen people. Right. Read. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. He's going to do what? He, he shall, shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Lord. Read that again. He, he shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Read that again. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. There's a lot of eagles among right, us. Right, 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 right. So many eagles. Right. right. What is he doing? Right. Like I said, they don't even speak English. What is Esau doing? Right. Man. Yeah, right. Esau is just a damn thief. Right. He has right. nowhere to be. Right. He has no type of, he's a vag vagabond. No right. type of heritage. Right. Familia. Familia, come on, stop. Right? Read. Because they have transgressed my covenant. Hermano, come on, stop. Mira aquí, mira aquí. Estamos diciendo que nosotros, gente, latinos, somos israelitas hoy en día. Alguna vez escuchado eso. So, ¿de dónde eres? De México. Right, México. Right, tribu de Issachar. That's right. So in La Biblia, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 in uh, verse 49. So, do I read you, uh, maybe, there's in La Biblia. So, entonces, in La Biblia, si leo La Biblia, ¿tú crees que voy a encontrar la palabra de uh, México? No, ¿eh? Como yo soy boliviano, ¿tú crees que voy a encontrar la palabra de México? No. Entonces, en La Biblia hay diferentes naciones de gente, pero en La Biblia, una nación de gente que son el pueblo escogido de Dios, que se llaman Israelitas, vamos a ver quién son esa gente hoy en día. ¿Ok? Nada que ver con religión, nada que ver con ir a la misa, con uh, 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 nada de sus cosas. ¿Qué? Solo vamos a leer la Biblia. ¿Ok? Se brinda la Biblia. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Right. Yahweh. Traerá. Contra de una nación de, le, de, le, de lejos. Aquí dice que un, uh, Dios va a traer una nación de gente contra los israelitas. Está conmigo. Miren. Del extremo de la tierra. Del extremo de la tierra de un parte del mundo. Miren. Que huele como águila. Que huele como una águila. Águila. Entonces, como tu colera, ahí está una, una águila, ¿no es? Right. So, hoy, en, hoy en día, ¿quién pone la águila uh, como su uh, logo? En Estados Unidos, no me pone la águila. ¿Qué más? Los españoles, la gente de España, de uh, uh, México, pero antes de México, si era la águila, ¿qué era? Era el bus. ¿No ves? So, entonces, cuando estamos leyendo aquí, la Angle está hablando de toda la gente gringa que están aquí. All white people. Ok? Right. So, entonces, 
en la Biblia está diciendo que esta nación españoles van a vivir venir a otra, otra parte del mundo. Entonces, cuando ves la historia de los aztecas, la gente de México, ¿qué ha pasado? Sí, pero no ve antes, eran los aztecas, ¿no ves? ¿Qué ha pasado en la historia a los aztecas? ¿Quién ha venido a ese país? Los españoles. Yo he visto dos carreras. Sí, cinco. Sí, no entiendas. Cuya lengua que no vamos a entender. Entonces, con esa gente han ido a México, han ido a, a, a Perú, esa gente ha ido a Bolivia, esa gente ha ido a todas esas partes. No, no lo hemos entendido la lengua que estaban hablando. Entonces, por eso hoy en día, por eso hoy en día estamos hablando español. Porque los españoles han venido a nuestro país y está escrito en la Biblia. Ahí dice la lengua tuya que no, no vas a entender. Entonces, ¿qué es la lengua, el la lenguaje que estaban hablando la gente indígena que es parte? Era hebreo. Cuando la gente han ido ahí, tenía atrás uh, translators que no hablaban hebreo. Sí, I'll just read. Look up uh, Christopher Columbus, Hebrew translator. Sí, era un dialecto. Ahora, la verdad, ese dialecto que hablaban los aztecas. Pero el español viene, el español viene de la Castilla. En eso entonces, España se llamaba Castilla. Nosotros hablábamos castellano. Era que Castillo se era todo lo que es Centroamérica, México, Panamá, Estados Unidos. La verdad. Y España, y creo que algunos alrededores de España se llamaban Castilla. La verdad. La verdad. Y ahí de Castilla fue pues, que nació el español. Ahora escucha esto. Se llama castellano. Sí, como castellano. Como yo, mis, papá, no mis papás vienen de uh, Bolivia. Parte de la gente de Bolivia habla castellano. Ahora escucha esto. Vamos a ver en la historia. Y si, si, si eso es verdad. Right? So bring that up. You can read it. Luis del Torres. Columbus brought Luis del Torres. Dice and... que eh, Christopher Columbus, ¿no ve? Que ha venido a sus partes de Sudamérica, ha ido a todas sus partes, ¿no ve? Venía con un hombre que se llama Luis del Torres. ¿Ok? Well, An interpreter. Un, un interpreter. Alguien que puede hablar diferentes idiomas. Right? Read. With him there his first voyage. Right. Del Torres spoke Hebrew. Read that again. Del Torres spoke Hebrew. No, a uh, dialect. Del Torres spoke Hebrew. Ahí está escrito, hermano, que el, el Christopher Columbus venía con Del Torres que tenía gente que hablaba hebreo. Porque esos dialectos que hablaban los aztecas, los mayen, los incas, tenían diferentes palabras que va a hebreo. ¿Por qué era eso? Que nosotros somos los hebreos israelitas. Por eso es. ¿Está conmigo? Sí, de eso decimos que de, de, de Israel se siente todo. Pero no toda la gente viene de Israel. Solo nosotros, la gente que están aquí, los latinos, nosotros venimos de Israel. La gente que está ahí en Israel hoy en día son gringos. Sí. Ellos son los verdaderos uh, 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 judíos. Somos nosotros, porque cuando ves la historia, la gente que está ahí en Israel ahorita, a, a Estados Unidos, le han puesto ahí. Ellos todos son de ahí, son gringos. Pero que tiene que sí. ver la historia con las culturas de la Biblia. Ahora, te muestro, te voy a una buena pregunta. Yo cuando yo me Sí, sí, porque si hablamos de. Si nos acercamos ante la Biblia. Yo creo que todos, de, todos somos de los Cristo. Son ahí los Israelitas, de ahí viene lo que es Adán y Eva. Dime, Matthew, ¿qué tiene Es un poco de verdad. Ahora, Dios nos ha dicho que toda la gente viene de Jesucristo. 
19, claro, que todos somos cristianos, todos los que creemos en Cristo somos salvados. Sí, pero cuando en la Biblia cristiano es un religión, no es un religión, entonces ¿qué es? Cristiano, es todo aquel creyente de Cristo. Eso es Ahora, la gente que Jesucristo... A que tienen diferentes, diferentes religiones. O sea, aparte son que se llamen ser evangélicos y todo, pero mientras usted crea en el Cristo, usted es cristiano. No importa sea católico, perfecto, del mormón que sea, mientras usted crea en el Cristo, todos son cristianos. Ahora, esa gente que puede creer en Jesucristo no es toda la gente, no es todo el mundo. La única gente que puede creer en Jesucristo son nosotros. Porque Jesucristo solo ha hablado con los israelitas. Solo ha hablado con los judíos. Nunca ha hablado a todo el mundo. Vamos a leer eso en la Biblia. Porque eso no. Vamos a leer en la Biblia. No, no, no. Lo que yo tengo entendido. Cristo vino. Es el libro de Matthew. Chapter 15 and verse 24. Look it out. El respondino dijo: No soy invadido, sino a las ovejas perdidas de la casa de Israel. Read that again. De la, de la casa de Israel. Aquí dice que Jesús no estoy enviado a toda la gente, pero solo a la casa de Israel. Entonces, esa gente de Israel, Jesús ha dicho, solo para ellos estamos. Es un hombre apuntado. Mira, mira por el top again. Escucha. The book of Mateo, Kids say, vete y cuatro. That's right. El respondiendo, dijo. Respondió. Porque un hombre le está, le está preguntando algo. Mira. Dijo, no soy invadido. No soy enviado. Entonces, ¿qué, ¿Qué significa eso? Y si alguien me quiere preguntar algo, eso es que no estoy enviado para todos, pero, read, sino a las ovejas. Solo a las ovejas. ¿Y eso no es ovejas? Perdidas. Ovejas perdidas. La gente dice que todo el mundo, todos somos y, uh, abejas perdidas. Si crees en Jesucristo, todos somos. No. Read. De la casa de Israel. Read that again. De la casa de Israel. Read that again. De la casa de Israel. De la casa de Israel. Sí. Solo es los es. israelitas. Solo. So, what it is. So, Can't get around it. Si Jesucristo vino a morir por todos, o sea que nosotros estamos, podemos ser salvos gracias a la expresión de Cristo. Si solo vino por unos cuantos, ¿qué sentido tiene que Dios haya mandado al mundo entero? Si solo va a salvar a unos cuantos, que Jesucristo fue enviado para todos los hijos de Dios. Y los hijos de Dios somos todos. Siempre y cuando ya depende de cada quien el que quiera seguirlo, que no lo siga porque es un problema. Pero yo pienso que no tiene sentido que solo sea para unos cuantos y los demás que. Esa es la diferencia. ¿Va a venir otro Jesucristo? No va a venir otro Jesucristo. Pero ahorita hemos leído las palabras de Jesucristo. Él en su boca ha dicho que solo ha venido para la casa de Israel. Ahora. Cuando vuelva Jesucristo, es solo para, solo para uh, volver para los israelitas. Eso ha dicho. Nunca, nunca puedes leer en la Biblia que uh, uh, para todo el mundo. Solo siempre, solo estaba uh, 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 pecando y solo estaba hablando a los israelitas. ¿Quién somos hoy en día? Que son nosotros. Nosotros somos los israelitas, hermano. Nosotros somos israelitas. Yo sé que todo, pero Jesucristo vino por todo. Vamos a ver, ¿quién por unos? Vamos a ver esto. Ahora, ¿te conoces a Saúl? Saúl. Saúl, eso es después de Jesús Cristo se muerto, ¿no Sí, en el libro de Romanos. Ok, viene. Es el libro de Romanos, 9 y 4. Y 3. ¿Por qué de ser yo mismo se entama? separado de Cristo right. por amor a mis hermanos los que son mis cortines así dice que son mis hermanos ¿no ve? porque toda la gente que dice que todos somos hermanos en Cristo ¿no ve? como está diciendo vamos a ver 
Se... Paso Messi, vos estás diciendo eso o la Biblia va a decir eso? Según la carne. De según de la carne, ¿no? de, de la carne, no del espíritu, de la carne, de la gente. ¿Qué son israelitas? ¿Qué son israelitas? ¿Qué son israelitas? De la carne. Nos, eh, Saúl, de la carne. Después de Jesucristo ha dicho, mis hermanos son los israelitas. Sí. Son, no todo el mundo Correcto. son los israelitas. Eso ha dicho Saúl. Y Saúl, ¿a quién le mandó a Saúl? Era Jesucristo. Jesucristo ha hablado con él y le ha mostrado diferentes cosas. Entonces, Pero según, según, según usted son, son solo los israelíes, solo, solo un grupo de personas. Eso ha dicho Y los demás. Y los demás. Y no ha venido Dios para los demás, hermano. O sea que todos los demás se van a perder y. Se van a morir. Eso ha dicho, eso no ha tiene dicho. Sentido, hermano. ¿Cómo no? Es, ahorita, give me Matthew, give me Matthew 15. Yo me tengo que ir, hermano. Ok, te voy a dar algo antes que te vayas. <risa> so, mira aquí, puedes escanear esto que tu teléfono, a ver, saca tu teléfono. Ah, está apagado mi teléfono. Ok, so, cuando vas a YouTube, pone, puedes poner uh, Vigilantes de Israel. Y vas a leer nosotros uh, YouTube y todo va a ser uh, español. Ok, ok, hermano. Right, sick. sick. You fat and sick. Sick. Hand pump. Let's go right. back to the Jose. Right. Fat is sick, man. Go back to the Jose. Right. Jose, chapter 11. Hermano, ¿cómo estamos? Estamos bien. Ahora, mira aquí. ¿Dónde te vas? Mira aquí. Mira aquí. Hosea chapter 11 and verse number and verse number 8. Right? Oh yeah, Hosea 8. Salad. Salad. What's going on, sister? How you doing? Praise what Lord? What's his name? You said who? <laughs> right, bring that up. Hosea 8 right. what? Oh, verse 1. Right. Verse one. Hosea chapter 8 and verse 1. Right. Set the trumpet right. to thy mouth. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Can I ask you a question? You an Israelite, brother. Damn, Bob Set the trumpet to thy mouth. Right. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Because they have transgressed my covenant. Because they are what? Because, because they, they have, have transgressed, transgressed my covenant. covenant. Because we transgressed the covenant of the Most High God. Hoy en día, no estamos guardando los mandamientos como Israelitas. No no right. Hoy en día tenemos que los mandamientos. And trespass against my law. And trespass against my law. Wicked as hell. Yeah. Wicked as hell. Right. They are Peruvians eating damn uh eating damn uh, uh um what's that? Guinea pigs. Yeah. See that? Who in their right mind would want to eat a damn guinea pig? Right. Wow. That's Perfect. sick as hell. Get Man, that's sick. Damn, you just a slave See eating that? their guinea pigs. Right. Frying guinea pigs. Right. Lusting after guinea pigs. Right. Damn sick as hell. Right? right. Read. Huh. Verse 2. Israel shall cry unto me. My God, we know thee. Israel. Read that again. Israel shall cry unto me. My God. Right. In, in, in Northern Kingdom, don't cry to the most high God, man. They cried to them, uh, Caesar Borgia. Caesar Borgia. Right, they cried to a so-called white man. Right. Right, they call, they cried to different philosophies, chasing after white people and different philosophies, right? And not after their own God-given heritage. Read. Israel shall cry unto me, right. my God, we know thee. Right. Israel have cast off the thing that is good. Read that again. Israel, Israel has cast off the thing that is good. Read that again. Israel has cast off the thing that is good. Right. They cast it off the thing that is good. This word. Right. The commandments. Right. Your heritage. Right. The most high like God. Right. Your house shot. All these different things. You cast it off the thing that is good. Hermano. Hermano. Tienes que guardar los mandamientos, hermano. 
The enemy shall pursue him. I love it. The who? The enemy shall pursue him. Read that again. The enemy shall pursue him. And the enemy still pursuing. That's right. To this very day, you think you about to go enjoy a day about your so-called heritage? And the enemy's still there. The right. enemy's waiting in line. He's still watching you. He's creeping on you. Right? Read. They have set up kings, but not by me. Read that again. They, they have set, set up kings, kings but, but not, not by me. me. Read that again. They have set up kings, but, but not, not by, by me. me. Read that again. They, they have set, set up kings, kings but, but not, not by me. me. That's the king that Northern Kingdom set up. The so-called white man, right? The so-called white man as your king, right? That's all Northern Kingdom, so-called Hispanic people. What is set up as, right? They have made princes, and I knew it not. Right? Of their silver and their gold. Right, the most side doesn't know this image, right? At all. We don't know this image, right? This image is wicked, it's all. Right, it's corrupting your damn mind. All, all Hispanic and Peruvian people want to do is worship this man, which right. is not Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Jesus Christ was a so-called black man. Right. right, right. Read of their silver and their gold. Of their what? Of, of their, their silver, silver and, and their, their gold. gold. Right. And the Incans, that's all they did. They have lust after uh, damn silver right. and gold. Have all this gold, which on one hand is a mighty thing, but that's all you can do. Oh. Of their silver and their gold have they made them idols that they may be cut off. Read that again. Yeah. Have they made them idols that they, they may be cut, cut off? Right, made them idols. Right, the damn ship is an idol. Right, a, a fig. Brother Fig, what are you saying to the people? I never said no Yeah, read. Read. You speak Spanish? That of their silver and their gold have they made them idols right. that they may be cut off. That they what? That, that they, they may, may be cut, cut off. The Most High God is going to cut off that image, right? The Most High God is cutting off white Jesus, which our people love so much, man. Right? right? That's all they do is worship this man. You worship this Mary, right? Santa right. Maria. Right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother on the phone, laugh. See that? Right? Our people worship Santa Maria, right there, Virgin Mary, where all these, you pray to the uh, mother of Jesus. That's all. The mother. That's wicked as hell. Right. Right? Read. Thy calf, O Samaria, has cast thee off. My anger is kindled against them. My anger is kindled against them. Read that again. My anger is kindled against them. Right? And the Most High's anger is kindled against what Northern Kingdom is doing. Right? Going after them ships. Right. Right? Not breaking the Sabbath day. Right. You waiting a long ass line for nothing. Right. Right. Right? Read. How long will it be ere they attain to innocence? Right? How long is it going to be? How long? How long are you going to wait in this line? Right. right. How, long, how long are you going to be going to wait in this front? line? That's mad. Right. You're going to wait an hour. Break the Sabbath day for nothing. Right. To see a horse. A ship. Right. To see a, a ship. Right. That's mad that you were slaves on. Right. 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 Verse 6. For from Israel was it also the workmen made it. Therefore, it is not God. For from Israel was it also the workmen made it. Therefore, it is not God. Read that again. Yeah. Oh. The workmen made it. The workmen what? The, the workmen, workmen made, made it. it. Right, and the workmen made it. Right, the so-called white man made this image that enslaved our people to this very day. Our people still worship this image. Right, they'll die over this image. Right. They'll kill you over white Jesus. Right. Right, right murder you. Right, rob you, stab you to damn death. They've stabbed you 300 times just for white Jesus. Right. Right, damn rose. Then you got a uh, rosary stabbed. Right, you got a rosary bead stabbed on your right. neck. You got it on your hand. Right. right. Right, wicked. Right, read. <laughs> the workman made it, therefore it is not God. Therefore what? Therefore, therefore it is not, not God. God. Read it again. Therefore it is not God. Read it again. Therefore it is not God. And this man is not God. Right at all. We don't worship uh, oh, white Jesus. Right, right, right. That man is not right. God. Right, read. But the calf of Samaria shall be broken in pieces. Right. 
right? And all your idols uh, uh, there in northern calf of Samaria, right? All the uh, idols that northern kingdom sets up, right? They're going to be broken into pieces. You don't even know it, right? The Most High is going to come back with vengeance and anger, right? Read. Uh -huh. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Right? It, ha it hath no stalk. The bud shall yield no meat. If so, be it yield, the strangers shall swallow it up. The what? The strangers shall swallow it up. The what? The strangers shall swallow it up. The strangers are going to swallow it up, right? Read. They're goofy. Israel is swallowed up. What did you say? Israel is swallowed up. Read it again. Israel is swallowed up. Israel is swallowed up. Chasing after the so-called white man. What is the so-called white man doing right. with so-called Hispanics? Right. right. What are they doing out here? Right. Being a damn creep. Right. right. A murderer. A damn right. thief. Right. right. No identity. It's the damn vagabond. Right. 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 Now. That's why the Most High God is putting all so-called so white people in slavery. Right. 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 Read. Now shall they be among the Gentiles. Hey, brother, you got 30 seconds? All right, brother, you got to keep the command. Do an Israelite. Right, read. Uh. Now shall they be among the Gentiles. Read that again. Now, now shall they be among the Gentiles. Read that again. Now shall they be among the Gentiles. You should be among the Gentiles, right? right. That's why you're still around the so-called white men with them dark shades like a damn police. Right, right, right. Damn right. Bad. right. right. Damn right. 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 Read. As a vessel wherein is no pleasure. Wherein what? Wherein, wherein there is no, no pleasure. pleasure. At right. all. But yet, Northern Kingdom will probably protect us. Northern right. Northern Kingdom with them so-called Hispanic right. people would then defend us, man. Right. Right? Because that's God at the end of the day. To them. At the end of the day, that's God to them. Right? Because they worship Caesar Boys here. They worship uh, damn so-called Mother Mary and uh, damn uh, baby Jesus. Right. Right? I remember being in the church and they used to carry damn uh, 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 white baby Jesus. Literally used to carry it around. Right? All right. around the damn church, a damn idol. That's what the Catholic Samaria should be cut down, right? That's, right. That's gonna be destroyed, right? We're gonna. I can't wait for that. Right. So right. Lord, 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 Lord. Right. Can we break down those damn right. uh, uh, calves in Samaria? Right. Can we break down a brother? A brother. Right. Can we break down these damn images? Right. Read. Uh. Ain't the damn heathen. Right. right. Read. Uh. Right. A vessel wherein is no pleasure. Right. For they are gone up to Assyria. A wild ass alone. They have gone up to where? They've gone, gone up to Assyria. Read that again. They have gone up to Assyria. Read that again. They have gone up to Assyria. And they've gone up to America, which is modern day Assyria. Right? They've still gone up over here to go after a boat, a money. Right? To go after this damn boat. They're going after the things of Assyria. Right? Read. A wild ass alone by himself. Ephraim have hired lovers. Yea, though they have hired among the nations, now will I gather them, and they shall sorrow. They, they shall sorrow a little for the burden of the king of princes. All right, read on. Because Ephraim have made many altars. Because to, what? Because, because Ephraim have made, made many altars. What is so-called Hispanic people doing now? Because Ephraim have made, made many altars. altars. Right, and they're still making altars. That's right. The very day. Dad, look, look at the altar right in front of us. See that? Right, look at the idol in front with all those flags that don't belong to. Right, right. Right, right. and um, the northern king to be worshiping Mother Mary and all of these different idols. Right, this is the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 27. Look it up. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said it to him, mm. Blessed is the womb that bare thee, mm. and the paps which gave have sucked. Right, this is what, this is what Yahweh Shah said after a woman was trying to worship his mother. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word and keep it. Right. right. And blessed are they that actually keep the words of God. Oh, right. But yet, they want to worship the day of Mother Mary. Right. They want to worship his mother. But yet, you don't keep the words of God. That's right. At the end of the day, that's what Yahweh Shah was saying. Right, you want to worship the damn woo. Right. Lusting after the woo. Right, right. Lusting after the after the wolves, imagine to this very day, Northern Kingdom is still moving that spirit. Right, right, right. They still want to set up all thousands of different items. They say you can pray to their Job, you 
can pray wow. to them, uh, Joseph. Right. You can pray to the angels. Right. You can pray to God. You can pray to anybody. It's wicked as right. hell. Right. Right. Go back to that uh, Jose. Right. Hosea. Hosea chapter eight and verse eleven. We know because Ephraim have made many altars to sin. Altars shall be unto him to sin. Right, and it shall be altars and these different idols are brought upon you as a sin. Is he going to hell off? Right, me? Right. I have written to him the great things of my love, but they were counted as a strange thing. Right, right, and this, this truth, the commandments of God, the Bible, telling you in Israel, telling you you're an Israelite, you're God's chosen people, is a strange thing. They, I mean, you can't even call Northern Kingdom. 30, 10 seconds to hear the words of right, God. Right, right, right. Because this is such a strange thing. If we don't have a damn, uh, uh, a damn so-called white priest, if we don't have sweet baby Jesus, like if we don't have Mother yeah. Mary set up, right, right. we don't have all of the damn, uh, just cool Edomites, right? A rosary, all these different idols. And it's just a strange thing. Right. Because that's all they know, right? It's the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 3. Right. Now for a long season. Israel have been without the true God. Read that again. Now Israel, for a long season, season. Israel, Israel have, have been, been without, without the true God. God. Right, they've been without the true God. That's right. And the true God is not the so-called white man. Right. It's not Caesar Borgia. Right. That's no way in hell. That's the true God. At all. The right. true God is your house. Right. Shimmy out with shot. Right. right. A long season. Right in that season is still long. That's right. To this very day, during the time of Chronicles, till now right. 2024. So-called 2024. It still have you still without the true God. Right, read. And without a teaching priest. Right, and there is no teaching priest. Read that again. And without, without a, a teaching priest. priest. What's going on, family? You got 30 seconds for the Bible? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, brother. Right, read that again. And without a teaching priest. Right, teaching priest. There's nobody to teach you the law. Right, the church that you go to, right, where the white man is indoctrinating you, the so-called white man is washing your right. brain, thinking he's God, right, there's no teaching priest in there, right? All they do is worship the Right, read. And. Right, read. And without law. And without what? And without law. And Northern Kingdom is without law to this very day. You go to the church and you keep zero law. Right, right, right. right, right. You got to dress up. Who is your fringe? Right, right, right. Right. You invested in mine is all in them swine. We know the kids love swine. Right. They, love swine. they love swine. They use uh, a damn gelatin and damn food. Right. See that? Right. Damn swine all day. Right, right. Right, read. Right. Sit on that. Right. But when they in their trouble did turn into the Lord God of Israel and Sodom he was found with them. Right, I sit on that. Go back to Hosea. Hosea chapter 8 and verse 13. Bring it out. They sacrificed flesh for the sacrifice of mine offering. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Can I give you a flyer? Alright, brother, you an Israelite, you gotta keep the commandments. Alright, please. Uh. They sacrificed flesh for the sacrifices of mine offering right. and eat it. But the Lord accepted them not. Hey brother, hey brother, hey brother. Right, read. But the Lord accepted them not. Right, the Lord doesn't accept you now, right? That's why to this very day, you're still at the bottom of society. That's why Northern Kingdom is still in damn cages. You're still getting them shipped off to God knows where. Right, you're still getting them a foot in your ass right. to a so-called country that still isn't yours. Right. right, right. You get locked up, you get put in the back of a bus, right? You get kids, you get separated. Right. That's why to this very day, that's still happening. Right. The so-called white man and white woman is still amongst us. Right, read. Now, will he remember their iniquity? Read that again. Now, will he remember their iniquity? Read that again. Now, will he remember their iniquity? Both sides still is going to remember the uh, iniquity. The sin you're doing, right? The walking around and folly, right? Hey, brother, you got 30 seconds for the Bible? 30 seconds for the Bible. No crees la Biblia. No crees en la Biblia. No mientas. Right? Read. Lying on now will he remember their iniquity right. and visit their sins. Right. And so like they shall return to Egypt. Right. 
Read that again. They shall return to Egypt. Right, and to this very day, Northern Kingdom is still in Egypt. Right, and with that, the next powerful, electrified, dynamic speaker is right. going to teach in ways that I couldn't. Right? Kwame Ashala! Kwame Ashala! Kwame Ashala! Kwame Ashala! Kwame Ashala!